This sucker got squished. What's going on, guys? Carter here with Edge Mindset. We're going to be opening up this uh, Ace Ventura box here. If you know the reference I'm talking about at the beginning of the movie, this thing is destroyed. Uh, UPS, what the hell? What were you doing to this thing? It has been smishy smashed. Uh, I'm not too worried, though, because I know what's inside here has its own box, and we got peanuts. We got, we got peanuts. Let me grab this. There we go. Get out of here, Peanuts. We don't need you involved. We've got a Medford here to check out together, me and you. Uh, ooh, We're going to be comparing it to this guy because, uh, yeah, this has the same finish technically as this. Uh, but since this is sculpted, it should be completely different. I don't know. I'm excited to see what it looks like. We've got the pouch. What else do we got in here? We've got your certificate of authenticity made in February 29 of 2024, made this year. Really, really cool. Uh, let's check it out. Let's open it up. Let's check it out. Let's check out the pat pouch action that we have here. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the pouch or the plastic box? I don't think I care either way. All I know is that the bigger white box ooh, is too big to fit in a small USPS container, so I don't like that. Cool. Check that out. Look how different. Similar, but different these finishes are. Because this one's done on a flat plane. This is the scorched earth finish. And then we both both of these have the bronze scorched earth on the other side. Uh, but like I said, this one is kind of the pure scorched earth finish. And this is it over the sculpted finish. So very, very different. Yeah, buddy, look at the Vulcan blade on this guy. Uh, I've said it before, and I will say it again. What I love about Medford knives are these finishes, blade finishes. Well, I like the designs. I like everything about them. Um, but the blade finishes and the handle finishes are really, really cool because it adds a whole different dynamic to the package, right? Like... These are just about sold out from uh, KnifeJoy right now. They've got one left, and it's the weakest Vulcan out of all of them. And there's a reason for that, because these ones get scooped up first. So not all Medfords are created equal. This thing is awesome. Now I've had, man, this is huge. Look how big this is. I've had a Marauder H. That's what this is, Marauder H before. I don't remember it being this massive. This thing is huge huge and yet it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like over encumbering so i don't know i don't know this thing is amazing uh really good vulcan blade on here s45 vn drop point i love the drop point i don't love the tantos on these uh, oh that's interesting flamed over travel stop right there kind of bringing out more purples it's got the uh the what do they call it the distressed pvd now, this was supposed to be a distressed PVD clip too, but it doesn't really look like it. This one definitely does have that distressed look. Same with uh, the backspacer here. I don't know what it is. This feels light for its size. Maybe it's just the way it's balanced for being such a massive knife. It doesn't feel that heavy. I know it is heavy. It's got to be heavy. Let's do a weight here. Yeah, 8.9 ounces. I don't know what kind of... I don't know what crack I'm smoking where this feels... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the balance or what's going on, but very cool. Let's get a closer up look at the scorched earth finish here. You can see how it just looks different the way it hits the light. Very, very cool. It's got all this like scuffing on there with like a fallouty bronzy type thing with, I don't know how they're getting the, the kind of rust color, like right there. There's a good example. I don't know how they're getting that. I don't, I don't know how they're doing this. It's very, very cool though. I like it a lot. And then on this side is just the normal bronze. I do wish this was both sides, but it seems like all of the fallouts that they do, man, that crisp D10, all of the fallouts that they do, uh, they always just go bronze on this side, which still looks good. Still looks really, really good. Far cry from some of the blingier Medfords that are out there. Uh, the only other... The only other fallout, not fallout, the only other scorched earth that I'm kind of interested in is the, 
uh, TFF1. They've got TFF1s kind of like this. And they've got it uh, in both of these. They've got it in just the flat and they've got it in the sculpted. So raise of hands, which one of these two do you like the most? Just finish wise, not, not the knife model, not Praetorian versus Marauder, just out of the scorched earth, which one do you think is the coolest? I kind of feel like this is what brings out the uh, the scorched earth the most, but I don't know. What do you guys think? This thing is awesome. Comment down below. What do you think of this badass giant? I mean, this thing is huge. I don't remember it being this big. That's what she said. Massive knife. How? Let's see. How big is this thing? It's got to be like yeah, over a four inch blade, four and a quarter inches, almost four and a half inches. Nine and a half inches overall. I forgot how giant these are. I need to get a slim midi or a, a midi marauder or something. Very cool. Comment down below. What do you think of this bad boy? Um, and which of these finishes do you think represents scorched earth better? All right, guys. That's it. Quick unboxing. Comment, like, subscribe, all this stuff. Appreciate all you. Take care. I'm out.